Hello everyone, welcome to Mirai Kaiwa. This is our live stream, me, Gunner, and Sean. We're going to be basically talking about whatever we want on here. Um, as you can see, it's just us three for now, but we will be bringing guests in the future. It's going to be a pretty fun time on here. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys want to say hi quick. Alright, what's up? It's Gunner. Here. Hi. <laughs> Oof. But, uh, yeah, as you guys can see from the top there, we're going to be talking about YouTube in 2018 because YouTube has been very, very interesting in 2018. Oh, man. Let's, let's talk about January. 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 January was very interesting. Yeah, it's been, it's actually been a while since I, like, oh, man, Logan Paul in Japan, that was... It's, it's pretty funny considering the name of this podcast, because it's in Japanese. <laughs> but, yeah, so, what, what, what do you guys think about, what do you guys think about January? That, like, wasn't it, like, January 1st he posted that I, video, like, on, off to a great year? I, I think it, uh, wait, yeah. wait, was it actually on January 1st? I forget. I think. If I recall sure. correctly, I'm pretty sure it was. It was the first day of 2018. Oh my god. And then he literally screws it up for time. himself. He he screws it all up. I don't I don't know how my mic sounds right now. I hope it sounds good, but like mm -hmm. Why uh, see what came into his head that told him it was a good idea to actually do that though. There <sighs> Yep. There's so many chances for him to realize what he's doing. Like he flew out all right, but by this point, there there is like, there's nothing wrong, right? He flew out and he went into the woods, right? And then he uh, saw the body. He recorded it. He some he had someone edit the video, and then they had someone uploading it. And then nobody by this point thought to themselves, maybe this is a bad idea. Sorry if you guys can hear my AC. I'll probably turn that off real quick. But, uh, I, I, they're, all they're thinking about is freaking money, though. They're like, dead body? You already know what that means. Cha-ching! Yeah. Th <laughs> all about that money. And then, really sad. And then, since it was really trending at the time, me and Gunner, oh, me and Gunner, yeah, we, oh, man. Man. <laughs> we had to milk that for views. We're like, yeah, dude. I mean, well, of course, as, as a joke. That's on though. my channel if you want to watch that. I might... When I heard about you guys making that video, I'm like, oh, God, this can either go really well or really badly. <laughs> and actually... Like, people are like, either going to hate you or, like, they're going to think it's pretty funny. Actually, now, now, now the thing about his vi uh, Gunner's video, the one that we did, it, it also makes me want to bring up another topic, which I actually didn't plan on talking about at first, but I just thought about it. Like, what happened to Leafy? Leafy quit. He quit? Uh, no, he still makes videos. No, he has- when's the last time he uploaded a video? Go check. Um, I thought he quit. I, no one knows what happened to him. He, he never specifically said he quit. Like, if you go to his most recent video, he doesn't say anywhere there. Like, uh, yeah, guys. And oh, yeah. <laughs> it was seven months ago was his last video. Mm-hmm. Yes, he just randomly stopped uploading. Like, I mean, sure, he has all that money from, like, 2016. I think it was 2016, at least. 2015, yeah. The whole great Andre, Keemstar, oh, Irish yeah. cynical shit. All of that. And then he's just like, you know what? Screw it. I got all the money I need. People are already hating on me from this iDubs thing. And, yeah, uh, stepped. One second. Oh, uh, okay, anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, he just randomly disappears. He got, and he had that, all that money, so, I mean, he, he could retire from it, but, yeah, he, he just disappears randomly. People think he got, it's from, uh, what was it, his, his things got leaked, his, his nudes or something? I don't know, maybe. I never heard of that, but. Because there's Yeah, a, I. You didn't no hear about knows. that? No. no, I didn't hear well, that. apparently uh, a picture got leaked of um, his, you know what, on top of his girlfriend's forehead. 
So, uh, okay. yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. People think he retired from that. People just think he got bored or something. Well, either either way, it's it's kind of sad he's not on YouTube. He, I'm not I'm not saying his content was good because he was bullying little kids, but like, he he's yeah, just he's yeah. he's a classic YouTuber. He was during he's around during the really good times of YouTube. Now all it is is, oh I'm gonna I'm gonna box you. Oh I'm gonna I'm gonna make a diss track and on you. Lincoln bio. Oh yeah, Lincoln bio definitely. That's, oh, like, Fortnite. That seems to be a common trend lately. Fortnite is still blowing up. That's, uh, I mean, I, as a person that plays Fortnite, I'm not complaining. It's, it's really good, but it's also showing how like scumbag people are. Like freaking Big Fault. I can't stand Big Fault. I'm gonna say that right now. Big Fault is a dork. I don't like him. He's so annoying. All he uses, oh, you, 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 you guys like like the video, like the video, and then you're gonna get a free battle pass. Uh, yeah, you can you can enter my free battle pass thing. Like, is that all it is? Free battle passes. Oh, 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, the, the entire live stream for Season 5. Oh, okay, guys, okay, um, Season 5 will be coming in, like, a few minutes, but until then, you guys want to enter my giveaway, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and then I'll give you a free battle pass. Yeah, we're getting out 20 already. Like, I want to see the proof that he's actually doing these giveaways. Like, I want to see the people who's winning these, because as of now, it just seems like he's just scamming them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so... Besides that, besides the Fortnite, uh, what was I gonna talk about? We, I want to talk about FuzzyCon in a bit. For now, let's talk about TanaCon, cause TanaCon that was also a really big thing. TanaCon. Fun. Yo. Shane Dawson's little documentary was really good. I actually didn't get to watch that yet. You need to watch that. It was. I, it's, like, it's like really well done, really, really well put together. Yeah, I didn't get to. Uh, I didn't get around to actually watching that. Yeah, well, something I just need to do. Like, it's it. really, really yeah, good. Yo, I'm gonna start up Default Con. If you guys wanna make a documentary about it, feel free. <laughs> it's gonna go bad on purpose. Yeah, I'm, so I'm actually gonna make it publicity. fail. So I can get I'm publicity. Actually gonna yeah. Make people stand out outside when it's 80 degrees. In the heat and getting sunburn without food and water. Yeah, I'm, I'm and, just gonna uh, put people just through like. Yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do. Yeah, TanaCon. I. Isn't there, like, a lawsuit going on right now because of it? They're, like, suing the sure. guy. They're suing the, like, the guy with the glasses that, like, owns Good Times. I think that's the people who Tana oh, had help with it. Was, it. The, the, the kid with the white hair with the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on the little segment with, with all the Gucci. Yeah, 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 him. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. He might be... They might be suing them. I, I'm not sure. I Yeah, I heard they were. And then... What else was there? Um... Is was there anything else of Tanacon? I'm trying to remember. Um, well, how? Yeah, there are things. So, well, the fact that she lied, and said that there's like twenty thousand people. Oh yeah, that that was a only, lie. Or fifteen thousand people, or but what, there was only like four thousand people. What was she going for with that lie? Like, what was the point? Like to say, oh, it's so big, you guys should come. Like I think so, or maybe just to like have clout or something. I don't know. Yeah, that could have been it. Um, she lied about that, and then she said about food and stuff, which I think you just said. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, but FuzzyCon just went down two days ago, if I'm right. Yeah, two days ago. I don't even know the story about that. I've, I just know that like they had to evacuate, and then like that, the police were called. Okay, oh, so yeah, I, it wasn't like FusiCon, or it was like um, it, uh, it was like uh, goodbye, hate. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, uh, love more and hate less, or something like that. Some, some kind that's, of stupid. I'm more. sorry, but that's the most retarded thing I've ever heard. No, no, no. It, it sounded better. To be honest, it sounded a lot better than what we're making it sound like. I, I remember this. Uh, I'm not saying that it was a good idea. It just had a. <laughs> I, I just wanted this clip. I, I saw this clip from it, right? And, uh, Fuzi says to Keemstar, he's like, uh, you're eating breakfast and I'm eating dinner. What? <laughs> like, what what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, no, he says, he's like, uh, you're in the heat and I'm in the cold or something like that. I'm like, what are the, what is Fuzi Tube up to? What is this man talking about? 
Oh, also, so right now it's July 17th, and by the time you see this, Keemstar's documentary, documentary will probably already be out. So right now, while as we're recording this, it hasn't been released yet. But from the trailer, it looks really good. I'm so actually far. really excited to see this. Mm-hmm. And uh, stuff is still coming out. Uh, what else was happening with Fuzzy Tube? He went to Adam 22's show, No Jumper, I think it's called. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't watch it, but I was watching a bunch of clips on uh, about how he was like talking with like Sam Pepper and uh, who was it? I think Shane Dawson was there too. Oh, it was hate dies, love or uh, love arrives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wait, why, wait, why, why? Like, listen, I love Shane. I love Shane, but why is he here? I don't know why like, he's yes. there. Did you guys see the? Uh, fuck, there was a podcast that somebody did. It had Shane, um, Mom's Basement. That that's right. yeah, I think with, it was with, with Nick Crompton. Yeah, Nick Crompton was there. Listen, I love Shane, and I'm glad that he's like doing going on other podcasts. But like, I don't know why he's in on this. Oh, oh no, because oh, no, I probably know why. Because he's probably helping Keemstar out with documentaries. He might, yeah, or might be something it. like that because yeah. because of his Tanacon series. But the but the thing is, why is he on No I'm not Jumper? On Shane. Why is he on No Jumper with uh, Adam Twenty Two? Like, I'm not hating on Adam Twenty Two either. But like, Fuzzy Tube's there, like. And FuzzyTube was going off on what's his face on Sam Pepper. He kept like saying all this stuff. Um, I, f- I forget all he was Dude, saying. Sam Pepper isn't even around. Go easy on it. <laughs> Poor dude. Poor Sam Pepper. Kill your best friend prank. I almost forgot about Sam Pepper until I saw him on like a, a video from Rice Gum. Sadly, like a while ago, I'm like, oh, Sam Pepper's still around. I thought he like quit. But nope. Yeah, I for I forgot about Sam Pepper until I saw the Philip DeFranco show. Is he today. doing IRL streams now? I'm on his YouTube. Yeah, channel. yeah. Actually, I think that's what he. I think he quit pranks and now he's doing IRL stuff. But uh. I'm so stupid. Yeah, but now he's like less of a con. Oh, and you, you guys know what happened to FuzzyCon, right? Like how it got shut down because of the bomb threat. Yeah, the bomb threat. There was yeah, a yeah. bomb threat. Yeah, it was like a. Yeah, that's why I got canceled. <laughs> No, it was, it was a prank though. Like they they were actually. Just, oh, so like... Fuzzy got pranked back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was kind of ironic because it was. <laughs> he got pranked back. <laughs> it's just a prank. It's kind of ironic prank. though because the show, the name of the uh, the show or the uh, the event was "Hate Dies, the Love Arrives," and then there's it got shut a, down. An, an anonymous bomb threat was gone. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so horrible for me laughing at it, but it's so ironic. It's, it's... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And then, uh, what, what else? Um, he, something, something else went down with Fousey too. Then, all right, then this is the part that made me think he was like acting like a villain, right? I mean, he, he's, he's acting like the victim at one point, but we'll, we'll get into that when I'm talking about this. Didn't he call Kimon out? So he jumps on top of a car, right? And. He's like oh, yelling at Keemstar or whatever. Yeah. He's like, I. He's like, this dude right here, and Keemstar's out in the audience, right? He's just like standing there. I forget what he said. Fuzzy Tube's got his like shirt going up, like he he looks like he's right. No, 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 he, no, he said. You see, I think he said this like a yes, talking to you. I'm staring at you right in the mother freaking, but not with not that that word. You know what I'm. Yeah, talking yeah, about. yeah. That's what he's like. That's what he was. And he. He just straight up, like, called Keem out in the middle of the crowd. Yeah, Keem's just standing there, and then, he, uh, Fousey to his shirt, it's like, he, he keeps going up, it almost look, looks like he's, like, about to strip, right? He's, like, sweating and stuff, I think, and his pants are falling down, and he just keeps yelling all this stuff, and then, and then he, get, like, uh, he explains how he's, like, bipolar, or he has, like, depression or something like that. Which, I mean, I feel bad for him at points, but then why is he still on YouTube? Why, I mean, why, how, how do I say it? I, I don't, I don't know how to say this in, like, a nice way, because, like, see, if FouseyTube really wants all this, like, love and stuff, or all this stuff, then he needs to just, like, get off YouTube and just, like, live his own life. Or, and then, I mean, I know he's done stuff in the past, but this really isn't helping his reputation. Yeah, but the thing is about FouseyTube, um, as much as I think, uh, 
this situation sucks. And as, as much as I dislike Fusi too, just for his personality, not just because of this event, he does have bipolar. So um, sometimes his emotions just change drastically, um, just randomly. I don't want to say randomly, but spontaneously, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to sound like I know what I'm talking about because I have no clue whatsoever. But um, so his emotions and his, I don't know, his emotions and thoughts change um, just based on certain events, I guess, or I don't know. Yeah. And honestly, if he really ha has depression and is bipolar, he shouldn't be calling out Keemstar, of all people, in the middle of his event. Yeah. Like, am I right? Yes. Yeah. What was I gonna yeah. say? Uh, honestly, I think I think Fuzzy Tube should like. I mean, he he probably he yeah he he needs to like chill out a bit. And also another thing that I know about him, he's like really really egotistical. <laughs> yeah. I mean I I don't know if that has to do with his, bi I don't know how the freak bipolar works exactly. I know I have like an idea of how it works, but like. My dude's out here, and he's, like... Because I was watching a PewDiePie video earlier. Like, it actually came out earlier today, right? And my dude's over in Australia, right? And he's complaining how people, like... What was it? Like, 3,000 people used to go to his events, and now, like, 300 go? Like, he's being ungrateful. He's, like, thinking only about himself and not the fans. Like, he, the fans are still coming. It's not like no one else is going for you, like... It's it's almost like the Jake Paul thing. You guys remember? Do you guys remember that? How Jake Paul was like trying to get fans to go to like paying people to go to his concert or whatever. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Wait, he he did that. You didn't hear about that? That no. was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, Jake Paul. He was... paid people to go to his concert. Yeah. That's so stupid. Because no one wanted to go. He was like irrelevant. Jake at the Paul time. is so retarded. Like, and the part gosh. I was talking about the whole bipolar thing with. Uh, Fusi Tube was the uh, the Sam Pepper part where he had that interaction with him on that podcast. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was crazy! I'll actually uh, did did you guys see that? Yeah, yeah, I watched it. I didn't. I need to watch it though. I'll uh, you can just listen to it. I'll play a short clip of it uh, for you. Okay. Actually, hold on. Um, he's. When he's starting out, he's talking about uh, he's talking about how one of Fusi Tube's uh staff members or friends or whatever, um, uh, was like dragging like him called, out. Yeah, it was like dragging him out and like calling the police, and then he got the uh, Sam Pepper got detained for no reason. He was like sitting in the back of a uh, a police cruiser for like three hours straight. Wait, wait, so wait, so Sam Pepper was at the event. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think. Oh, so. Oh, dang. Phase yeah, Rogue so was there. He, 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 was, he, was, he was awakened from the from the grave. Sam Pepper. Well, Sam Pepper's been hanging out with Ice Poseidon a lot, I think. They went to, uh, what was it, VidCon together? Because they hidden the llama or whatever, or some kind of package, and then they Oh, got the Fortnite up. llama. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the stupidest yeah. thing I've ever But anyways, this is the, uh, the clip. Walking down, country comes running down. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. And the police have said we're free to leave if we want it. They have video of country pushing me, grabbing my arm, not letting me leave. And I'm like, why are you detaining me? Like, what if I, like you, you don't have the right to do that, first of all. Then he starts shouting, officer, officer, officer. These two officers run over to me, instantly handcuff me, search me and put me in the back of a police car for three hours. So whilst I'm sitting in the back of the police car, they left me alone. <laughs> is that Fusey Tube laughing? I mean, laughing? like, do you not think that's, like, the most <laughs> yeah. ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Can I answer now? Yeah, sure. I give you the floor, so can I get the floor now? No, absolutely. All right, first of all, um, I'm happy to be talking to you. So I believe in energy. Energy. And I believe literally through energy I attract... Did like, he just say that like he believe believes in energy? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what drugs is he on? Well, no like, I'm sorry. Is, that, is, is this bipolar show. speaking? Crap, that's me. Sorry. I'm not saying it was you. I'm not saying it was your audience. But the issue here isn't country. It isn't John Fitzpatrick. It's how you live your life as so a person. So you're saying because of my energy, it justifies the fact that one of your staff shouted, you lit, the, told, lied to the police. You manifested it into your life. I manifested that one of your staff member True. would 
Lie to the police and commit a criminal offense by the secret because you live your life that way every day. Bro. How can you justify that? I what told you what happened. This is your reply to that. Bro, if someone from my team lied and said that you had a bomb, bro, that's your fault because you vibe that. That's what you said to me, I swear. Like, I'm not taking that out of context. That's what you said. I stand by every word that I said <laughs> this whole time. And I still love you no as a brother. He says that he's blaming Sam brother. on his energy. I got Bella and Viva my DM. That's so <laughs> stupid. And then it he's like that one crazy from bitch there. from like, Big Brother. I, I DM'd you. I don't agree with anything you do, anything you stand by, how you live your life. We are not the same. I'm a fucking That's champion. At this point? Uh, You're beta as uh, fuck. I'm an alpha. What is this, oh Tyler Warren? Is that Tyler Warren? <laughs> is this Tyler Warren? <laughs> I hope in every single stream for the rest of your life, your audience reminds you how much of a bitch you look like. Wait a second, wait a second. Pause, pause that, Sean. Pause that. Isn't his message supposed to be spread love and not hate? Dude, he's, he's literally yeah. calling Sam out for doing nothing. Dude, right? he's being yeah, a hypocrite. Being... He's being the biggest hypocrite I think I've ever seen. And I want to I wanna let you guys know, at that point of the podcast, where um, Fousey 2, by the way, a real man want to do this, like, I'm an alpha, you're a beta, like, shit like that, Tyler you know what I mean? At that here. point, when he was saying that shit, he was, as Fousey 2, he was in Sam Pepper's face. Oh, yeah, like, I know, I saw, I saw that. I saw that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was the point I was talking about with the whole bipolar thing, how his, uh, his feelings and emotions can change drastically. Just, but... I, I don't yeah, want to... I don't, don't want to let him off the hook that easy, you know what I mean? Honestly, my dude... I, I don't know if he... I, mean, he, I would hope he is. He, he would have probably tweeted about it. Or but something. his diagnosis can't fully justify his action. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, even a little. I mean, you could use it as an excuse, like, here and there. You can't use it as a full-time excuse, though. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm bipolar, for, forgive me. I mean, I, like, and then, you know, you just use that for everything. You, you need to take control of your actions sometimes. I'm not, no, I'm not saying everyone can control that, of course. That's not what I'm saying at all. But he, he needs to learn to take responsibility and be like, like, and if, if he messes up, then, yeah, I messed up. I didn't. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, f this this whole thing is, it, it's pretty crazy. I'd like to see where it develops. Like, there, um, I just checked 52's Twitter, and he says, um, somebody tweeted, it said, uh, did you watch PewDiePie's new video yet? And then, uh, he commented on that he said nah i never will the king don't got time for opinions of the sheep <laughs> what <laughs> apparently posted a video the king ain't got time for the opinions of the sheep yeah the idub sheep like that <laughs> an hour ago <laughs> Rice gum sheep. that was one hour ago the, the king ain't got time for opinions of the sheep but who would say that i i'm trying to think of a person that would say that i i I, I, I don't know who it is, but, like, I, I feel like that's something Ricegum would say more. I, I don't know. Okay, he posted a video, uh, PewDiePie posted a video five hours ago, titled, This is why you shouldn't be a YouTuber. Proceed. That, yeah, that's the video I watched. That's the video <laughs> I watched. Oh, man. But yeah, I feel like Tube needs to get off of YouTube. I'm gonna say it straight up. He needs, he needs that to That was go. actually, I was, um, as you said that, he said, um, uh, he had a post that said, to anyone who still thinks Four Ghosts is a diss track, do me a favor and never listen to rap again in your life. Wait, who, FoozyTube tweeted that out? Yeah, and then he has a king He's emoji. dissing rice gum in the entire thing. How is it not a diss track? Dude, it's, no, uh, no, no, that's literally what it is. It's a diss track. If it, how is it not? He's calling rice gum out for not, for, uh, having a ghostwriter. Uh, a person that plays his Fortnite games, uh, for having his thoughts, um, and something else. I forget what it was, but that's literally the entire thing. It's a diss track on Rice Gum. How is it not a diss track? Oh, two hours ago, he, uh, he tweeted, logging off the internet. I hope, uh, I love you with all of my heart. Uh, 
my blood flows for your gra uh, greater purpose. Everything I'm doing for is for you and will make sense. Maybe not today, maybe not in a year, but eventually. I promise. Hashtag July 15th. We'll uh, never. Uh, we'll live on forever. Join the family. Oh yeah, it'll definitely go on forever. <laughs> he's so high. <laughs> My dude. He's like uh. He's like Donald Trump, but like drunk one. Oh, okay. Uh, this is like a side note. I don't want to get involved in this, but did you guys see the thing of Donald Trump? How he's like he's siding of Russia for like, uh, about the what was it? Th them not doing the hacking during 2016, and then. What is? I don't know if it was today or yesterday. He's like, oh no, it was them. And then all of a sudden the lights go off in the room. I don't know. I found that pretty funny. Wait, really? Yeah. It it, it, it it was pretty funny. But uh, back on track. Um. Oh, geometry dash thing. Oof. I didn't mean to do that. But uh. Anyway, you guys heard about how Drake was supposed to show up for that, right? Wait, at the Fuzzy Tube event. Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 two million uh, viewers, and then Drake will come. I wonder if Drake was actually aware of this, like... I I bet you Drake was like, who's FoosyTube? <laughs> Who? FoosyTube? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> I just thought of the Leafy thing, oh my god. Yo, Leafy was the good guy all along. Good, hashtag good guy Leafy. Remember when Rice Gum and Fuzzy Tube had beef and like they they went they went up to fight and then they just like rubbed up against each other for like fake a minute. drama fake drama <laughs> <laughs> and then no one was fooled they're like oh it's fake and then Fuzzy Tube yo, Fuzzy Tube yo guys this rice. was actually <laughs> it was fake we were showing how drama affects opinions or whatever literally not fooling anyone but uh no no and you want to know where Drake was during the time of this so. Fuzzy Tubes, Fuzzy Con, whatever the heck it was, that was in L.A. Drake was in New York. Bruh. Drake wasn't gonna <laughs> make it there. He could have taken a plane and he still wouldn't have made it there in time. Yeah. Drake he wasn't was, gonna uh, be there. He, he's Fuzzy Tube, he was talking about how he was face to face with, uh, with Drake, but they didn't say anything. And then Keemstar is like, oh, so you... Uh, met in air quotes. You met uh, Drake. He's like, uh, yeah. He's like, no. So you, you didn't actually meet Drake. He's like, yes, I did. And he's just <laughs> clinging on to the belief that he was so just stupid. High. Oh my god. No. And then uh, what else was it? Freaking Fuzzy Tube's like, oh yeah, all these big people are gonna be here. Like all these music artists that were huge. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think any of them were actually really big. One of them had Lil oh, in the name. Merch. He has a shirt singing, uh, saying, The King is back. The what? King, the King is back? What yeah, is... he kept tweeting. Oh, yeah, LeBron Drake. James was supposed to be there. He wasn't there, obviously. He kept LeBron tweeting James. at Drake, basically begging him to, uh, to show up. And then, oh, and then, and then he calls out Keemstar for saying... Oh, you're making a documentary on something that you knew was gonna fail. And, like, and Keemstar even asked him a few days ahead. He's like, yo, can I make a documentary on this to see how it turns out? And Fuzzy Tube's like, yeah, dude, yeah, you can make a documentary. So, and, and then later, when, after it fails, he's like, and Keemstar, you still have the audacity to make this documentary on this. And Keemstar's, of course, like, yeah, of course I'm making it. Like... Mm -hmm. Why are you calling out for him or out on him for doing it? It, it? it reminds me of Shadow, right? Remember when we made the DJ Bighead video and Shadow's like, "Yeah, oh, I'm, wait, I'm in so on it." So that's why he was calling out Keemstar at the event. Yeah, basically, because he had his permission to document it. Yeah, it's like it's like the Shadow thing, like how Shadow was like, "Oh, I don't want to be part of the video. Remove my part of the DJ Bighead video." Which, I mean, you know, that that's in the past. But I I just thought I'd bring it up because it's, like, basically the same thing. Like, it, it's, yeah. it's just pretty funny how how um stupid the dude is. It's Fousey Tube. Oh, man. I don't know if there's anything else we want to bring up. This this episode's been, like, half an hour already. You guys, you guys want to end it here? Uh, yeah, yeah but Alex, since you have one more thing. Oh, yeah, one more thing I want to talk about. 
my video, I don't know if you guys saw the Q&A. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. But I, I left a little hint in the comment, not the comment section, the description. If you line up, if you like write all the capital letters, you'll see the name of who my next Tard Patrol video will be on. It's going to be great. Um, this dude's literally Jake Paul Jr. That's all I have to say. He's literally Jake Paul Jr. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to end this podcast. I'm going to put the links to Gunner and Sean's channels in the description. If you guys want to see the next one, we're probably going to release this after the next, uh, what, or not this one, the next podcast. We're going to probably do that after my next video releases. It's going to be a big one, believe me. And I know, I know I said the big one was supposed to be, uh, before this one, but I really wanted to get this out, so... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe. I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to say, uh, link in bio. Link in bio. Link in bio. Gunner, you didn't say no homo first. But, uh. No homo. No homo. Hey, no, hey, no, homo. Yeah, no homo. Yeah. But yeah, guys, until next time, keep it virtual. And, uh, yeah, see ya.